Okay, all right, I'm back. Okay, for the Divine Masculine, we have codependency he's working on. Okay. We have fear. We have separation again. And we have a uh, shadow aspect. So we're dealing with things within ourselves that we need to, that we have learned. It doesn't always have to be like the darkness, but things that we have picked up ways in which we need to fix that are acting as a blockage towards ourselves okay um okay okay let's see I don't have to, uh, let's do some clarifiers let's do with this one clear Okay, for the Divine Master, we have codependency. So with that, we have um, the abundance. We're figuring that pretty much with this codependency has to tie into how things are abundantly happening, our abundance. Uh, and then we also have the angel of love. So with that, we have the angel of love is also um, is really helping to act as a catalyst as to why we want to get out of this codependency that's going on um with whatever it is a uh, person place a thing that you are at this moment tied to uh and you knowing that really this is going hand in hand as far as you open up the doorway to creating your harvest for the also for the divine masculine we have separation again i told you all before separation from the um separate from your um social media things because again those things are helping to be like a catalyst or keeps things um uh, perpetuating as far as in um you and how you really um are tying into things that are in the environment um and so this is causing some stress um some of you again i seen they said on a couple of videos are looking out on other um they are looking out on uh social media as far as your divine feminine seeing what she's doing maybe if you're not even doing that maybe you're looking at others and seeing what they're doing on social media and that is acting as a way of causing this kind of disruption uh with you uh because you already say you got too much going on so you're already overwhelmed uh with things that's going on um so if you start separating yourself as you take like a, i call a social media fast where you're letting things go, this is going to help you to be able to come more closer into your temple path. Um, also, with the victory, um, and it's also going to help you get victory over the situation. So try doing that, kind of leaving social media alone, looking at things uh, that's going on there that's causing you to kind of get into that, that world consciousness and let those things go. Also, you are tied in with fear. So we got fear. So you've got to have patience about some things because, again, like I said, it's a lot of things going on that you're making you feel a little bit overwhelmed about what things are going on currently in the situation. Uh, you have an indecision, but it seems like to me that this indecision came in reverse. So right now, uh, if you have been indecision in the past, had some indecision about things in the past, you are now becoming more laser beam focused into as to what's going on um with you now okay um so that's what you need to do uh next thing here is um shadow aspect uh so again like i said doing the work about some things that's happening behind the scenes
Um, I love this. Okay, thank you. And that's him. Uh, anyway, so looking at some shadow theme works that you kind of got to go through and um, actually do to help you to get on to a new level. Um, again, this is going to have you a newfound appreciation. It seems like emotionally this came in reverse because right now you're kind of struggling about what things you could appreciate uh, that's going on, um, helping you to be more um focus more kind of steadfast or more firm as to where you are um helping you to be more center of attention you got a lot of things of what's going on in your heart space your high uh, heart chakra so those things as well uh will act as a um really he helping you to be a person of power a man of power even with the emotions deal with the divine um feminine energy that's going on with you uh also you got door door to personal healing and happiness this came in reverse right now you kind of got to deal with those things divine masculine to open up the doorway because if you start doing that shadow work this is going to help open up to new things that's again what things because you're not doing the past that's dealing with the shadow work that you can't do a year ago can do now and what things are you working towards that you might need help this is the way you're doing the shadow work is going to help you to open up your doorway into this healing um next one Next one is door to value. Again, once you do all this work, this shadow work is going to help you open up the doorway to value to you as well. Okay, so that's probably pretty much some of the changes that they're talking about you dealing with. Um, what things do you need to surrender? Divine feminine. Clear. What things do you need to surrender? Okay, Divine Feminine, you need to surrender to your soul's path. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. So every moment that comes around for, uh, for you is a moment for you to learn more about yourself. It is also a way to help you to learn about uh, where you need to go as your mission and purpose. Uh, and so you just really, to me, just saying with this card, I just see a waterfall. So just saying, just go with the flow, go with where your heart tells you to go. So those are the things that we talk about. Surrender your desire to control people. Uh, divine master said, begin, uh, being over controlling or can sabotage relationships to more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. So, like you say, you feel a little overwhelmed. Maybe some of you all are trying to make things kind of work and kind of fit into a nice little square peg or hole. And it's saying at this moment, just kind of just let those things go. Okay? Um, and don't be so controlling. Okay? Uh, and that's kind of self-explanatory. Especially with you got things that are kind of currently changing uh you got too much going on at one time you need to make a, a decision on something and i think in some ways with the divine feminine you you kind of almost mirroring each other's where it is it's kind of like let things kind of just go its natural route don't try to make things happen don't try to make it go a certain way just let the law of attraction of things happen in the universe um happen okay i really don't have time for that one okay and so let me wrap it up with this one. Oh. oh. Not this one. Uh, what does the divine feminine want to say to the divine masculine? Clear. and divine masculine wonderful the divine feminine wants to say to divine masculine look to your inner strength 
you are stronger than you realize. That's a beautiful thing. So especially with all the things going on, these changes, a lot of things coming on at the same time. You start to believe that you are the one. You got to open your heart. You got to have trustworthy. Uh, you got to do some things that don't involve you having a, a, your ego benefiting from it. Uh, so these are the things that what you have to kind of work on. So look to your inner strength. You are stronger than what you are, think you are. And then for the divine masculine, you're saying to the divine feminine, say physical touch is important. For some of us, nothing is more important than a tender touch. This might include a pat on the back or giving a hug to someone who needs it. So again, the divine masculine is saying that he needs that kind of touch. You know, like they say, a mama's touch. It's only things, certain things that the divine feminine can bring into fruition for the divine masculine. So he's saying, I just need your little feminine touch on things. Also, you could do, again, hugging yourself, those things physically, um, doing that, getting in touch, sending those vibrations, seeing yourself hugging your divine masculine. If you're not physical um, uh, contact or that way with the divine masculine, that is another way in which you can do that to create that physical um, touch. Uh, as well. Let's look at what things need to be surrendered. <laughs> Clear. For the feminine, what things need to be surrendered for the divine masculine. Okay. Ooh, ooh. And I put it right on back on top there. Divine, um, divine, um, feminine, find a deeper meaning and personal growth amid the discomfort. Okay. And the key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. Okay. And the divine uh, masculine. When I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. And... I recognize that I have chosen fear and I chose, I choose again, I choose to love. Okay, so you've been, been choosing fear at the beginning. Now you know that she's the one. Now it's time for you to kind of think a different way. Change your lens of love or where you see things, divine masculine, divine feminine. Find a deeper meaning, especially with these things magically happening and occurring. Making sure you have your personal growth and be in self discover uh, uh be in this self discovery mode, although it missed the discomfort of it, but there's something that you need to learn because remember just like diamonds, diamonds have to go through pressure in order to for them to become a diamond, okay? And then also uh the key to prayer is to forget what I need think I need. So just ask again the prayer of whatever is is for my highest good. That's what I'm looking for. Something uh, I'm asking for God to bless me. What whatever is for my highest good. All right, the divine. I got to run, so I'll say until. Oh, there's little hair here. What's going on with you? Thank you. Until next time, stay uplifted, stay motivated, stay ascended. Namaste. 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 Namaste.